Hey YouTube, welcome back to the vlog. We're actually bringing something a little different this week. I am flying out to DC for some meetings and we have a chance to actually film at and showcase another breeder and it's actually called Showcase Serpent. So it's perfect for that. Um, a cool opportunity to um, introduce someone else to the vlog and let you guys see other people who are doing it well and uh, and just show the showcase their projects a little bit. So let's fly up there and uh, check out their place. All right, guys, we made it. We're here with Showcase Serpents. We got Adam and Sebastian, and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves a little bit. We're gonna look at some of the awesome animals in their amazing collection. We're exciting to have Justin here, Sebastian Walker from Showcase Serpents. Adam Chandler, Showcase Serpents. These are awesome guys, longtime friends. So you guys have some incredible projects that you've, you've developed for quite a few years now. And uh, I wanna look at a few of them. I wanna see some of your Desert Ghost stuff, though, because I know our audience loves DGs and DG clowns, so. We love Desert Ghost. I mean, it, it, just adding it to any project, um, you get some amazing colors, you get amazing effects, and uh, we're really excited about some of the projects that are around the corner. Awesome, let's check them those out. We were, I was seeing some behind you, they're crazy. I think I'll add as well, the last time you were here was probably four years ago. I think a lot's changed in four years. Big time, huge. We've added, we've added a lot, yeah. That thing's crazy. So, regular DG Clown? Regular DG Clown. I'll get a, Amazing. I'll get a pastel to put next to it. Sure. So, pastel works so well with Desert Ghost. Check that out. It's quite incredible. Okay, these two next to each other. Wow. So, these are bit. Have you had these for very long now? They're about four months. We bought them from a guy out of out of Florida and yeah, about four months. Crazy good eaters as well. Got the Amazing. Sister, sister here as well too. Yeah, new arrival. Yeah. You see Sheesh. How, you see how they retain their brightness and they almost seem to get brighter every shed. This is definitely a project of the future. You know, there's so many double recessives right now that are that are gonna be huge in the future and I think everybody kinda knows at this point. Cat's out of the bag, but Desert Ghost Clowns are just they're just so great. So I see some monsoons here. You know how I love monsoons. We got, what, well, there's a boy over here. Let's, let's yeah. take a look at that one. Uh, monsoon's another project that we're very excited about. Monsoon on its own looks great, but uh, just imagining uh, having it cross with some other genes, it's, uh, it's very exciting. Right, so what do you think is gonna really unlock the monsoon in your, in your opinion? Like, what, you, what are you excited to put it with? Ultramel would be a, right. a, a monarch, those melanistic uh, projects. Uh, Desert Ghost would be a, a would, I think would have a, a very nice effect on it. So what I hear you saying is color, changing the color. Absolutely, even right? lavender. So far, we've from what the combos I've seen, it looks like it may be hard to kind of change the pattern much. Some of the combos, they seem like they've just retained the pattern. Maybe it's hard to manipulate it. Even the leopard one, I think Billy at Mutation Creation made a leopard version. It wasn't that different, like pattern-wise. So maybe it's such a strong pattern that really it's all about the colors, you know? I, I think the, the DG one, like you mentioned, would be crazy. Steer it towards things that um, that are just going to bring out that unique pattern. Right. And not try to override. Right. It's got such a great pattern, you don't want to mess with it too much, probably, huh? Yeah. So for the DG Clown Project, I saw this animal here. Uh, with blackhead inchy clown head dg that's crazy this is another one we're very excited about now i think i bought one of this from from this clutch i actually got you, one from you you did indeed i think you got an inchy double head, no a blackhead double head from us yes you're holding out on the on the good stuff uh, I, got, yeah. I got the double head <laughs> no that's that's awesome look at her actually it's a boy isn't it's it a, it's a boy Sheesh. Inchy. so this will be crazy as a desert ghost I cannot imagine what that would look like. Yeah, it's going to have such rich colors. You know, there's so much richness here in the back here. There's the depth of it. And gets richer every shed. That's incredible. Even even though it's not Desert Ghost, just that head keeps it. And then his sister here, to compare the two, Blackhead Clown. You can see the head. See the wow. difference in the heads. You know, it'd be amazing to see these as DGs, but can you imagine the super Blackhead? Yes. We don't even know what a, here's the crazy thing is, we don't even know what a super blackhead clown looks like yes. at all. And here you guys have a chance, probably in about a year, to not only sh shoot for that, but to shoot for that with Desert Ghost. That'll be That's true. an incredible opportunity. All right, so this is a DG Pied. I see right next to it here, you have a pastel DG Pied. 
That one's a shed. Pastel works so good with desert goat. It doesn't matter if it's in a pied so or in a well, clown. So well. Wow, two. Uh, the desert goat just seems to amplify the color. Makes everything better, you know? Everybody says, well, what's the what's the best gene? I think you could, you could you go a lot of ways with that, but you know you can make a strong case for Desert Ghost being the best, solely based on the fact that there is nothing that it doesn't work with, right? There's a lot of other genes that they're incredible, they do amazing things, but you don't want to mix it with that, or you don't want to mix it with this, or it doesn't work with that. Desert Ghost is just a blanket, just put it in everything. If you want a no-brainer gene to buy or to have, it's the uh, Desert Ghost. I think you can't beat um, the mahogany color you get in pieds. It adds a richness to it, you know. I think in the pieds, we've gotten so bright now that it's hard to know. Let's look at the one next to it there. That's the yellow belly mahogany pied. We've gotten so bright that it's, we're almost at a point where, like, how can we possibly get any brighter? And so the key is to add some of these dark jeans, kind of re-engineer the darkness, and then add the brightness over again. I think we're end up with a very different color. Um, on that direction and it gives us a kind of new life to it, the whole project. All right, Sebastian, so we have two really nice Ultramels here. I wanted to catch these on video with you guys because you have so many Monarch stuff now that you're, you're stockpiling some incredible Monarchs and these girls are beautiful, but it'd be really cool to do a comparison. People are always asking me like, how do they really compare side by side? So let's grab a Monarch and put it close to them. Let's pull this girl out of it. Yeah. Grab a Monarch over here. Oh yeah. Now that looks like it just ate a football. She's just eating a giant rat, so. Look at that difference. They're they're similar, but yet so different. Much deeper. Like how would you describe them? It's, it's hard to it's hard to put that in words exactly. Yeah, so if you look at the two the two color differences, the two main, so this is the brown here is a lot darker. That's that is kind of almost ultramile, so you'd imagine ultramile color. This is a lot darker. There's much bigger contrast. The yellow is much yellow. Here, there's much less contrast between the two colors. Mm -hmm. You get more of a much sharper, much sharper, sharper contrast. Animal. Yeah. It seems like too, and I'm not sure if it's an actual feature of them. Maybe you guys can comment below. But it seems like the monarchs seem to have these bigger keyholes in them in some of the combos I've seen. Maybe like some there's some pattern element to it, maybe perhaps. That's absolutely true. I've seen that consistently. You know, yeah. this one over here has reasonable size keyholes. Mm -hmm. But consistently with the monarchs, I'll just grab grab the male we've got and let, let's see. So this one, does that one have pastel? He's got pastel. Boy, it's, it's so beautiful still. Pastel really works with that, doesn't it? Goes it goes so well with, with, with monarchs. Sometimes you guys think, probably think I'm giving pastel a hard time. and I'm, I don't have a ton of pastels left in my collection because for a lot of the oranges um, and we're working on and the clowns and pieds, the pastel kind of, kind of subverts that a little bit. But there's some things Works really well with the Desert Ghost, like we looked at. Works great with the Monarchs, really great. Um, works good with the G-Stripe stuff sometimes. That Some of that stuff yes. was really good with Pastel too. There you go, it's a perfect example. Get Pastel with, uh, what's that, Desert Ghost as well? Uh, genetic Stripe Desert Ghost. Wow. Tree Stripe's making a big comeback. It really is, I, I really feel that way. With Desert Ghost, and with clown in the G stripe, it's like completely revolutionized what we can do with that Mass or what massive possibilities so. are. You know, we sold all of our genetic stripe stuff probably three, four years ago. In the, the big purge. In the big purge when we got rid of- What's of, the big purge? The big purge where we got rid of 85% of our, our collection and started again. From Just retooled basically? Retooled. We combined our collections together. Okay. What we ended up with was uh, Ton, lots of animals, lots of great animals, but so many different projects, it was very unfocused. Um, we had to we had pretty much start over, uh, pick which projects we were gonna work with and sell everything else off. So it happens a lot in people's collections where they have to do, do that at some point. They learn a lot of initial lessons in the, in the collection building and then they retool at some point and then they just kick butt afterwards. So what's the, what's the lesson that you pass on to the to the, to those who find themselves in a similar situation. Well, I'll say I'll, I'll say what what's worked for us, and everyone's got a different model. But for us, the model that worked was quality over quantity. 
have far fewer snakes of the highest possible quality. Mm. Buy females that you can use, not just for one or two years and then sell them after they bred because you run out of space. Go buy females that you could use again and again. A female like this one we've got here with the Desert Ghost genetic strike. This can go to six, seven different males over the next five years. That's we, exactly right. We can reuse this female again and again. Whereas if you're buying a female that, you know, a pastel pied or something like that, and we've got still got many of those that really don't have a long-term outlook for us on our projects. We can't mm. use them with multiple males again and again. Mm. So those powerful females, and we've invested heavily in powerful females that we can reuse again and again. That's a great perspective. I think a lot of people, I know sometimes I talk to people and they're like, I can't buy that girl. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like, you will figure out what to do with it. If it's the right girl and it's solid, it's not really about what you're going to do with it the first year. You have year after year after year and the amount of opportunities that are going to present themselves after the first year and after the second year as your males get better and better, you're going to be able to leverage that girl in ways you cannot imagine if she's a quality girl, That's right? So just buy the quality girl, let it work its way out versus buying stuff that you know you can use right away, but it's just a flash in the pan that, kind of thing. Absolutely right. And we have some idea what we're gonna do with this girl next year if she's up to weight. Sure. But no idea in two, three years time. We've got plans. Because the things you're gonna have at that point, you can't even imagine how good they're we, gonna we be. We can't predict. Right, based on the on some of the stuff up here, I can tell you they're gonna be really, really good. They're really good options. So, awesome, this is, this is good stuff. All right, so we're just checking this out, we have a Pied Het DG, Desert Ghost, ovulating right now. And then right next door, her sister is gravid. So some crazy Desert Ghost Pied stuff coming here shortly. Fantastic. We have an Ultramo Clown here that's ovulating as well. What was she bred to, Sebastian? Desert Ghost Clown? Desert Ghost Clown. There you go. So Clown Double Heads. Those will be powerhouse. Sebastian, talk about the monarchs. We have a clutch from a pastel monarch, 50% head G stripe, the male we were just looking at, right? Correct. To a, what is this, what is this down here that we have? This is from? just a pastel genetic stripe, which we bought specially just to prove out the male. And we pulled this open half an hour ago and we saw that. She is all about those eggs. Awesome. So they, now you'll know if you're, uh, your male is head G stripe. That would be killer. So hey guys, thanks so much for showing me around. What an honor to come check out your facility. Be sure to follow on uh, Instagram. What is it, Showcase Serpents? IG, it's just like, it's like it sounds. Exactly right, yeah. exactly right. Pleasure having you. Don't wait three years to come back again. I'll try not to, I'll try not to. All right, that's it, we're back home. We had a great time and thank you Sebastian and Adam for hosting me, it's always a blast. And you guys saw it, a really, really cool collection. Some great stuff started. It's always interesting to kind of get the perspective of somebody who's built a collection and maybe retooled along the way, what lessons they learned, and I hope you got some of that from this video. Um, all those crazy Desert Ghost Girls, you know what they're missing is some crazy, crazy DG Clown male, and actually hooking them up with something really, really great. I'm gonna let them show you on their vlog when they get it. But thanks so much for watching, appreciate all of you. Thank you to the patrons, that's going super, super well. We have the first five JKR University videos up and almost a dozen egg cutting videos, plus a lot of other supplemental stuff. Really appreciate all you guys so much for, for joining, being founding patrons. And we have some cool announcements about that in the upcoming weeks. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next Friday on the vlog.